What's up, y'all? So, Taylor Girls dropped receipts after Caterer went live. Um, Damn, I don't know why people be trying these Taylor Girls, knowing damn well they got receipts. But we about to see what happened. It's just not their month. It's not their year. I mean, it's their year for making money, but it's the year for the people to try them. But let's get into it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying, and what the goddamn hell yeah, Lee. So, I already read the title. Let's get into it. So yesterday I reported that a catering business called the Taylor Girls out for being broke. Well, Daisha came with the receipts. Y'all know the Taylor Girls don't be playing. They come with them receipts. They and do. also the girl who runs the catering business, she went live yesterday and explained her side. And this is why I like when people actually talk rather than text. Because in the text messages, it just sounded like she was bitter and looking for clout. But when she fully explained it, it made a lot more sense. So y'all take the time and actually listen to her side as well. And y'all tell me in the comments who y'all think is right and wrong. And until next time, peace. So for the first thing she was talking about, about May 20th, she did cater a video shoot for a client that I was working with. If the client don't want to pay you a lot of money, that has nothing to do with me. I just work with a lot of, I mean, not influencers, a lot of up and coming artists who need help with their careers. If they don't have the money to pay for that, then that has nothing to do with me. I'm about to have my videographer pull up the video or how to pull it up to the video shoot. I'm going to tell you food all outside of shit like for for one you can't charge somebody no crazy price anyway when your shit is un Terry you got food outside trying to sell a mother plate and if the client want to sell snacks and shit she can it's her shit so that's where that is she is correct about her coming to a video shoot it was not the taylor girls video shoot it was for a client for a client that i was working with I, like i said i work with a lot of up-and-coming artists for girls that are girls and guys that need music videos put together and i help facilitate things like that so that's where she was talking she's a business woman talking about um on may 20 if she wasn't descriptive on what she was talking about that was not for the taylor girls like i said it was for a client that i was working with so if her budget was five six seven eight hundred dollars then that was the case never did i say i was promoting her for some shit that she was doing for somebody else never did i never do i recall saying that maybe maybe i'm having pregnancy brain right now but i don't remember saying that i would promote her for some shit that she was doing for somebody else that wasn't for me and my sister so let's clear that the fuck up footage my videographer just pulled up she's clearly outside go run the footage she's outside cooking un terry like the fuck it so it's just like girl do not play with me go back to mother tripping i hate that because when when these companies or excuse me when these small business businesses take chances on exposing uh a bigger influencer they mess up their whole fucking bag. It's so stupid. Although you may be upset or whatever about whatever happened, I get that. But to come to the internet and expose the bigger influencer, you're going to look the worst. Even if you exposed it first, you're going to look bad in the end. <sighs> the day of the video shoot, as you see, I'm like a director or some shit. I'm not shooting. That says... Hold you know, on, I'm not one. shooting. Hold, 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 hold. This is trail. something that I'm just here Every on. Day. She ain't have no damn, she not do not, she could pull her damn stuff up on the damn pole. Yeah. Directing. Not, work. not my this video. Not work. Knew it okay, so I had just started my own business. I'm a black owned business and I do a lot of stuff by myself. Like today I've been super duper busy. Finally got a chance to sit down and I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant as well too. So I would never try to like, like, you know try anything with her while she's pregnant because i know she want to enjoy her pregnancy i would like to enjoy my pregnancy too like i'm working pregnant <laughs> so um well she is too but okay yeah so hold on let me see. so when i did the video shoot i get money video shoot it was a nice video shoot she had strippers there they was there dancing um i think what's her name milani Milani or something like that she came she came and talked to me she tried my food she was like the food was good everything was good now the issue that i had with the the uh, i get money video was she wanted to sell now the issue that i had with the, the uh, i get money video
So I sent her, I basically sent her my um, my menu. So at the video shoot, I cooked brunch, then I came back and did dinner. So I came for brunch, cooked for everybody in the morning, left and came back and bought food for dinner. So I basically did two events for them in one day. Only charged her $500 for that. Flat rate. That was that was number one mistake. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> I bought tents, put up tents. I bought tables. I bought all the equipment. I even sent her a receipt for all. You done made two hundred fifty dollars. I never do that shit again, y'all. Don't ever do that shit right there. All that or whatever. Like I said, it was, At that least she'll have it now, though. No issue. I charged her five hundred dollars a flat rate, a very cheap price, because I just started off. I just started off as a catering business. And I'm a black owned business, so I thought maybe they were going to support me by promoting me more or whatever like that. So that's what happened with the um, the video shoot. The only thing I didn't like was when I sent her my menu, she called me and was like, um, yeah, I want to. She called me and said, I want to sell chips, honey buns and Oreos. And I had a girl that kind of works with me. Um, she don't work. She got her own company. But I was like, I need you to come serve food with me when I'm doing this food, cause it's a lot of people at the video shoot. I, she was with me in the car and she was like, girl, do she want to sell her own chips and honey buns and Oreos at her own video shoot? I was like, girl, yes. This girl just called me and said. Well, the thing is friend, if you already got paid $500, you can't get mad at her selling snacks. You already got paid, so. Or did she get paid and was supposed to be selling plates too? She wanted to sell chips and Oreos and stuff on the side. So mind you, she booked me to serve food, right. to cook food, to serve her people, but right. she wants to sell stuff on the side of me. She can so do I was that. like, what? Like, I swear to God, y'all, I did not believe. I mean, she could do that if she already got paid, but if she was selling plates, that's different. Leave it. Cause when I look at the Taylor girls, I think that they like they they successful, they black owned, they got money, they own money. But when she said she was gonna sell snacks on the side of me catering, I just thought that was I don't know. I thought it was weird. So um I said she said, I'm gonna send you the new menu. I was like, the new menu, I've already sent you my menu. She's like, No, add my snacks on your menu. Oh no. Nah. Like she wanted me to add her stuff on my menu. Like nah. I had to make a whole new menu add her stuff at the bottom like and then uh i printed it out and she said she's gonna print it out too so we both printed out a menu and her chips and honey buns so i'm like okay whatever i didn't even trip about that i get to the event we set up and everything and then she comes over with a table no lie i swear to god she comes over with a table and she sits the table next to my tables and she's like this is where my snacks is gonna be so she puts up like a big thing of chips honey buns all this and i was like okay who's gonna sell who's gonna sell this who's gonna sell who's gonna sell the food okay. i mean the, the snacks okay. and she's like you oh no 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 <laughs> okay one thing i learned about atlanta as you have to have the rules set in stone before you take one dollar. All right. I've worked for several people in Atlanta and I'll never do it again. I'm going to tell you something too. In Atlanta, when people got money, so you got people that got money. Then you got people that's on their way to getting money, right? And then you just got people that's broke. Okay. When I say have money, I mean like bands, uh, they living in, you know, big houses and, uh, they can afford to have a lifestyle and afford to run their business. That's when I say money, that's what I mean. Versus someone like me, all the money that I'm making, I'm putting it into my business, which that's a whole nother conversation too. Either way, you have people that is already there and then you have people that is on the way, right? She is one that is on the way now. I thought she got paid $500 and she's supposed to serve food. No, ma'am, you're not supposed to serve nobody's snacks. I'm not changing nobody's menu. But see, I'm not going to lie. 
That is when I would have had to decide on if I'm going to send her her $500 back or not. No. I'm like, so on top of me selling my food, or I mean, not selling my food, but serving my food, and I was selling it after, I was selling my food after uh, 75 people. So once 75 people oh, ate, and that was then the now deal. other people had to pay, you know, because oh, she only paid 500 okay. for, you know, amount of people. That makes sense. So I'm like, I'm, you want me to serve my food and do that and then still make, like, sell your snacks? She's like, yeah. So I'm just like, am I going to get a cut out of that? Like, no. I got no cut out of selling her chips in her honey buns and Oreos. You should have told her no. First of all, that ain't in my contract. I'm supposed to be serving my food. And then I did not know that after 75 people, you can sell the food. But see, like I said, now she done exposed it. And they should done put her shit on it. But she exposed it as if she was talking about the Taylor girls. Just all wrong, man. On the side. So as I'm as I'm over here trying to um, serve my food, people walking up asking, how much is the chips? How much is this? I'm like, um... I think it's a dollar. They're like, okay. So I started taking the money for her chips and honey buns and Oreos. So I got her money to the side. I got my money put to the side. And then I went and gave her her money at the end of the night. Like, here, this is what you made off your snacks. And she didn't even break me off a dollar out of that money. And she didn't do anything. She was walking around doing the video. And I'm talking about they should, like, they should not, not, um, Ty. I never really dealt with Ty like that. Ty actually seemed cool. Ty came up. She got a plate. She was like, how much? Ty was going to pay for her plate. She was like, how much to play? I was like, no, girl, you good. Like, this your sister or whatever. So, anyway, that was the first event or whatever. I thought that was a little weird. I thought I was going to get promotion for that video shoot, but I and didn't. And then you can't think you're going to get promotion either. You got to ask if you're going to get promotion or not. But you know what? You don't know anything about this shit until you deal with this shit. So I can't just act like, you know, my shit is all the way together and I never dealt with nothing like this before. I have and I would never, ever, ever deal with this shit again. All money is not good money. Do you hear me? That's why I always tell y'all I'd rather do Uber. Because, bitch, I know I, could, I got to deal with David R. Drop his motherfucking bag off. And David ain't saying nothing to me. His bag at the door, he take... He, he come to the door, he get his bag when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather Uber. I'd be dead ass serious when I say that. But y'all, I know how to do a lot of shit. But it is not worth my time. Or the money. Even if it's good money. No, 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 no. I, do I got a t-shirt a print machine that I can make a lot of money off of. No, I don't, don't want to do that. I don't want to work for people. Because you get shit like this happen. Get any promotion because like I said I'm a black owned business and I just kind of started out so I didn't get any promotion for that I didn't trip I was like all right whatever because I mean, I'm one of the people like if you do me wrong if you do something wrong the first time I'll try to give you another chance and another chance and another chance me and then too. after so long I'm just kind of like, she didn't do her wrong no she was supposed to put her foot down on this I don't think that she did her wrong like all right <laughs> I'm fed up I'm just gonna tell like somebody like somebody has to know you know so the second time she hit me, it was for like a Florida trip or something like that. I think she wanted to go to Florida and um, um, that didn't fall through. So that didn't happen, the Florida thing. Then after the Florida thing, it was, uh, what's the girl, Kayla? Kayla Nicole, I think that's her name. It was her birthday. So they needed a caterer for Kayla's birthday. So she, she hit me up saying like, I want you to come cater for Kayla's birthday. I'm like, okay, cool, I'll do the do it. And so we start talking numbers. Gave her a cheap rate again. She never got back with me. Oh, okay, well, she sent me these photos of what she wanted. She's like, this is the type of food I want. Cool, I'll make a menu. I made her a menu. She never got back with me. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm not doing the Kayla birthday party thing. So I go and I look on like um, Kayla's birthday party. And I saw they already had food. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Left it alone, never said anything about it. Okay. The last thing for me was the gender reveal. She texted me three weeks, I think it was like three or four weeks. I had to go back in my text messages. And she was like, 
Hey, um, mind you, I work in a restaurant too. I cook in a restaurant on top of my catering business. Like, Damn friend, business. and I'm pregnant on top of all that. So I was like, um, she hit me like three weeks and like, yeah, I got a gender reveal coming up. Mind you, nobody knew about her pregnancy, right? I never revealed that she was pregnant. I never told any of that or whatever. And um, she was just like, I want to um, do the gender reveal. And I think she had asked me to, yeah, cater it or whatever. So I was like, all right, cool, girl. Yeah, I got you. You know, I was always professional or whatever. And I also felt like sometimes she would speak a little rude to me. And then I had bought staff with me to help serve. And they also said, like, girl, she kind of rude. I was like, yeah, it's okay. That's how celebrities are. They be kind of rude or whatever. Nah, some, so, um, some yeah, of them are. The and, and, and for real, for real, when you are at their service, I'm at your service. What do you need? They real rude. That's another reason why I won't work for these motherfuckers. Y'all got me fucked. Up. Okay. An event. I said, cool. Mm -hmm. I'll do the catering event. I asked her, what is your budget, Deja? What's the budget that you're looking at to to to, to do, try to do for your um gender reveal? What is the budget? I didn't give her an extreme price. I didn't even quote a price. I said, what is your budget? What would you? You know what I'm saying? Trying to cater to her. What's your budget? What you looking at? She's like, like, I don't know. So I was like, okay, all right. How many people would you like for me to feed at your gender reveal? She's like 75 people. So I was like, okay, all right, cool. What kind of foods would you like at this event? She started naming all- Damn, so y'all can see that. Why is that on my screen? Why Why are you there? Got time to play with you. Watch it be on there too. Like, why is that happening? Here I am thinking y'all couldn't see that shit. And y'all can see it. Into your search. I'm not trying to search nothing. Damn. I'm like, can y'all see that? Hurry up. So recently the tele- No, they did another one. What the fuck? <laughs> is this not it? Oh, this is it. Start naming all these stuff. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. So I said, okay, let me come up with a list. I'll come up with a menu for you. She's like, okay. Came up with a menu for her. It was eight trays i think it was like meatballs uh devil eggs uh pasta salad some uh, a thing of shrimp she wants because seafood y'all know i don't know if you cook but seafood Hi. costs more yeah, so yeah. it was like seafood whatever she buying the food too, it right? was eight trays of food right so out of the eight trays of food i told her um i would bring two trays of those so if you take eight trays of food times it by two so if you had a tray of food, I don't know if you've ever been to Golden Corral, but like, have you ever walked up to Golden Corral and the food's already kind of made for you and you just put it on your plate and if you want to go back for seconds, you could go back for seconds like that. So like a buffet style. So I was going to make two trays. So once I made a tray of like shrimp, if that got empty, I was going to stay, stay there, take that, that tray that is empty, take that, put it in the back and I already have another tray already ready and replace it so they can come back for second. One thing that come to my mind is where's her baby daddy at? Because the third that they needed to. What so you got eight different trays of food. Oh, doing all this work. Two times. So eight, eight, that's 16, right? So I'm like, okay, I'll do eight trays of food and I'll replace the food, da, 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 da. She's like, okay. I'm like, all right, so 75 people, you could just do $15 a head. $15 a head, that's it. That's all I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna go get the food. I'm going to cook the food. I'm going to buy the groceries for the food. I literally, like, I'm pregnant, and I'm going to have a gender reveal soon. And I know how it is when you're pregnant, like, you're tired. Trust me, I'm working a lot, so I'm, like, extra tired. So you're tired. So I didn't want her to have to do anything. I literally wanted Daisha to come in her gender reveal, and I wanted her to just be like, oh, my God. Like, just come, get your makeup done, get your hair done and come and look pretty. 
that's all I wanted her to do and just enjoy herself. So I was like, I will bring tables. I will bring pink and blue tablecloths. I'm gonna bring all the equipment. The food will already be cooked. The food will be warmed up. When you get there, the only thing you get to do is just sit down, chill, and eat. You know what I'm saying? What's and I was like, just fifteen dollars a person. That's it. And then I would deliver the food to you, and I won't even charge you a delivery fee. She was like, "Oh, and mind you, she told me about this three weeks ahead of time." I That's just eleven hundred dollars. That's not bad. Work in a restaurant, and I cook in a restaurant on top of me trying to run my own business. So I took off of work for that day. I have my receipts for that too. I went to my job and and, and we have like a um if you work, you know what I'm talking about. It's called Seven Shifts. It's an app that you download called Seven Shifts. So you go in there, go in the app, and you gotta take off your day and it has, it has to be approved by a manager. So I went in there, I said, Okay, I'm taking the eighteenth off, I'm doing a gender reveal. I took off of work that day and then we set up everything. She said we was going to do the gender reveal. And then nothing. I heard I, I heard nothing else back from her. And what made me upset is when I quoted her the cheap price, she tripped out about that little bit of cheap, uh, cheap price. Because quit quoting cheap prices. I mean, you, you are allowing her to treat you like a cheap person. Bitch, no. My price is $1,200. Okay, I also need $500 for this food. My price on serving, cooking, bringing pink tables, bringing blue tables. I'm pregnant, bitch. Don't forget that. All right, I got to call off my job. Don't forget that either. You ain't doing it, so who going to do it? So, boom. I'm charging $1,200 for that. Okay, the shrimp, the motherfucking asparagus, the green beans, the mashed potatoes, all that shit is going to cost you about $500. Unless you got some goddamn uh, food stamps around this bitch. And if you don't, all right, we at seventeen fifty, friend. And you gonna pay or not? And if you're not, I'm going to work. But that's something you gotta learn it. You gotta learn it. You have to go through this to learn it. I understand why she charged cheap, especially if if uh that girl was talking to her in a in an assertive way. Because at that point, you're a servant. You're working. So it's like, oh, I don't want to lose this little bag. So goddamn, let me just do what she say. No, my price is twelve hundred to do the job. It's five hundred for the groceries. You sending me seventeen fifty via Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal? And if you're not, I'm gonna kick my feet back up and do what the fuck I was doing. No, <laughs> that fifteen dollars a head Fran for playing a buffet herself. style meal. She playing eight herself, trays of food, and then you get an extra another tray. She playing, herself. and I'm buying the food, and I'm bringing all this stuff. I just felt like, why you keep booking me? for things if you don't even want to so i guarantee you if she had a fucking meeting with pepsi cola and pepsi said all right you want us to cater to your event bet um how much you need 23 bottles or, or fucking whatever a fountain of pepsi our price is sixteen thousand dollars here is the uh the uh what you call that shit the um invoice we won't start work until payment. Thank you. Like, <laughs> until we get the payment, that's when we'll start working. Black people have issues with, oh, I'm going to just charge you a little bit. When you do that, they already just debunk your whole business. But like I said, you got to go through that shit to learn it. Like, Support a black-owned business. That black-owned shit. You know, like, matter. I just... I looked, I, I looked at them like, you know what, y'all black women doing y'all thing, but I just felt like they're, they put on, the, not, the, I don't want to say they, because Ty was very nice, very cool, you know, I never really dealt with her. It was more so date shit. And normally Ty has the one that's mean. <laughs> so, you just met Ty on a uh, good day. you put on this persona like you got so much money, you want to go to Gucci and say you're going to buy 50 pairs of shoes and all this stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You go on social media and you talk about other people being broke. Mm -hmm. You act like you have these cars that cost so much money. You act like you bought a big ass house that cost so much money, but you don't want to pay. No, she didn't act like it. That's what she did. They ain't acting like nothing. They did go to Gucci and wanted to pay $25. I mean, excuse me, wanted to get 25 belts or 25, whatever the fuck, some ridiculous ass amount. And the shit was going to cost like thirteen to $15,000. 
But you see how she was ready to pay Gucci, even though they did not even want her fucking service. They didn't even want her services. I don't want your money, bitch. <laughs> I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? She's begging Gucci to pay them, but shortchanging you. But it's, it's, it, I don't even think this is a black or white thing. I think this is because you just didn't put your foot down. You wasn't assertive about your business. You like, I'm be cheap. I, I already know, been there, done that. No, my price is $1,700. Here is the invoice. Here are the details to the contract. And if you don't want to pay, my feet are still up. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't have to move. You didn't have to work. You didn't have to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think it's a black thing. And she got to stop leading with black owned business. I'm a business, bitch. Support me. Fuck. Pay for services that you asked for. Girl, I never asked them for anything. They I reached hate out us to sometimes. me. Sometimes, sometimes I really hate us. I do. Ask me to cater for their events more than three. More than three. So it's been four altogether that she didn't ask me for. And you don't want to support like at all. I got I never got any promo or anything. That wasn't in the contract. She never, you, you never demanded it and she never had to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like, don't fake the funk. And because you see. Y'all, she ain't faking the funk. His friend just took this all the way wrong. <laughs> but um, I get why she took it wrong. But at the, at the end of the day, this is a lot of your fault, friend. I'm not going to cap. At least 20% of this is your fault. If not more than that. Okay. But. Child, I, you know, you just can't tell nobody nothing sometimes. Um, I just pray for you're going to have to be assertive about your business, friend. Quit using black-owned business and quit saying, I'm going to just charge you a little bit. If you know she could give Gucci $15,000, what you charging her a little bit for? Because you just started. And that's your work. You got to work. Like, you got shit to do. And, and, and you have, it's a cost with that food. Like what? It's I feel like you didn't make nothing off of that. You had to buy tables, you had to buy tents. It's given you didn't make nothing but a hundred dollars. I'd be pissed about that shit too, especially if I worked day and night. You probably well, I don't know if you made more that more than that on your job for the day, but fuck. No, ma'am. This your fault. This is your fault. You know what I'm saying? You knew they could pay 15k for some shoes or some belts or whatever the fuck they was begging Gucci to pay. If y'all can beg Gucci, bitch, and you need my services, it's $1,700. And I'm saying $1,700 because you said $15 a head on 75 people. That's $1,100. You know what I'm saying? That food, so we just going to round it to $12. It's eleven seventy six or something round it. That's $1,200. Okay. That food, I know wasn't $200. It wasn't $300. So, hell, put the tax on your gas, bitch. You had to drive. You got to shop to get the food. Now, that's $500. So, my price is $1,700. I promise you, if they wanted to use Tyson, you know, the company, or anybody that has their structural business together, they was going to pay fifteen k plus, $1,500 plus. So, run me my money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or let me kick my feet back up. But that's really all I got to say. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace.